So I'm going to uh, I'm going to be demonstrating the iliacus uh, counter strain technique, and you would do this on patients who come in for hip pain or back pain associated with long periods of sitting. Um, this is a passive and indirect technique. Um, so usually you find the tender point medial to the uh, ASIS. So seven centimeters medial to the ASIS usually is where the tender points are located. And do do you have any pain here? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, once you find a tender point, you establish a pain scale, and I'll say that this is a ten out of ten. Okay. So from here on, you try to, uh, you uh, you maneuver the patient's legs in a, a way to bring the uh, area into a position of ease to reduce the uh, pain stimulus, uh, I mean the, hyper, the stimulus that's causing the hypertonicity of that muscle over there. So I'm going to flex the patient's legs at the knees, then I'm going to bring my uh, leg up. Um, I'm going to slowly lift the patient's legs and rest them on my thigh. I'm going to cross the counter, uh, lateral, contralateral leg and cross it over the ankles and I'm going to push forward the ankles along with my thigh so the patient's legs are going in a frog-like position and I'm going to ask the patient now how's the pain? Two. It's a two out of ten so that's that's a, a position of ease if the, if this is not um, establishing a, a pain scale of less than three then you try to maneuver and try to find position that that's going to help that patient feel more comfortable and bring it more to a position of ease and I'm going to hold it for 90 seconds, feel for therapeutic pulse and tissue texture changes. Once that's passed, you bring the patient back to the neutral position slowly. And you reassess the tenor point. How's the tenor point here? Zero. It's zero, so the, t the technique is successful.